big day today. I am taking off the aftermarket exhaust and the downpipe on the 9th gen. It's about 10.45 a.m. right now, so I should be able to get it done today. I actually have a subscriber named Rick who's driving up from Los Angeles right now. He's actually almost here uh, to buy my full race exhaust. So <laughs> I need to get moving. This is the last startup you're gonna hear with this exhaust setup. bar will be rumbling soon mark my words this always sketches me out when I do this by myself back in the car up on the ramps off by a little bit not bad the toughest part of these exhaust installs is always these rubber hangers everything else is pretty easy unbolt bolt stuff up so the first thing we need to do is unscrew that right there and then this is just one pipe that's held in by this hanger so here's the resonator in the mid pipe and this is gonna be a 13 millimeter thank you very much for the ratcheting wrenches. These are amazing. So I went to the gym this morning and did arms, and that was a bad idea. Just like that. No, oh, not just like that. All right, this one's coming out. I found that if you put your hand up here and pull down, Oh, it's almost there. The paint up here feels really nice. That must be Rick. Here he comes. So Rick has three cars. He has his Type R. We'll go over the mods when he gets here. Damn, those are big tips. Nice wheels, rays. How's it going, Rick? Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? Good. It's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you too, bro. How's the, uh, remove all the uh, exhaust going? It's actually not going too bad. Um, here, I'll show you what's going on. I do have jack stands, but I don't freaking know where to jack the car up so that you can get both the jack stands under at the same time. Well, the e-brake only does the rear wheel, so I might be okay. But what I was thinking is take the muffler section off, turn it around, and then I can do the mid pipe. Oh, you have a jack? I do have a jack, so if anything, I could actually just jack up maybe one side a few inches okay. and I could be able to get under here, but that's what I did for the downpipe anyway. Okay. Oh, this is about that rubber mount, right? This is the rubber hanger, yeah. There we go. Okay. There's your new muffler. Yeah, man, so what's under your Type R? So far, I've only done the uh, intake exhaust, blow valve. Okay. Strike bar. It's lowered on Swift. Nice. That's, those are the ones I'm gonna get. So whatever uh, happened with the uh, the buyer? So for one, he pops the hood and he's like, is, it, "Is this an aftermarket intake?" I don't think he knew too much about cars. And I was like, "Yes, uh, I' pretty sure that's in the description on on my Facebook Marketplace post." Yeah. Like what? Did he not read it? Did he not pay attention? Mm -hmm. So they just didn't. They just didn't really know much. Right. And they went and drove it. So they came back and they had like not very impressed looks on their faces. Uh -huh. I had to explain to them like, dude, it's just the downpipe. Like, yeah. Just the downpipe. Nothing wrong with the car. And then he's like, yeah, I, I heard this rattling too. And I'm like, yep, that's the downpipe. It ain't the heat shield. It's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to pull this thing around. You want to guide me up? Sure. It's gonna be loud. Right here, we have a 17 millimeter that you have to hold on to. At the same time, you're gonna take your other wrench. Oh, shoot. Oh, look at that. 
So this exhaust is uh, it's pretty hot because I had to turn the car around, obviously, like you guys just saw. I just have one more. Oh, whoa, what? Holy sh**. Dude, I'm missing the top one. I'm missing, th there's no top bolt in there. Maybe that's why it was hissing. Dude, are you kidding me? That bolt wasn't, what? Dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. <sighs> okay. That could probably be a contributor to why this car was hissing. I gotta take this off. That's crazy, guys. Freaking A, huh? Who knows, it could have just vibrated out of there. Yeah, this is about to fall on me. Oh, we're good. The exhaust actually goes to the right side of the car and comes out right here. So now, all we have to do is take the jack around here and just lift this side up a few inches. All right, with Rick's help, we got it out. So to get that off, that really only took about hour or 15 minutes. Cool, man. Awesome. Man. I love this thing. Yeah, I, I almost so got this in white. Oh yeah. That sounds mean. And I'm sorry, what system is that again? The Nvidia R400. Nice. With what downpipe? Stock. Dude, nah. -uh. Yeah. That's what the R400 sounds like. Yeah. Stock? Stock. It was actually louder the first week. Dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. I could have sworn you had a downpipe. Nah. Do you mind if I trail you in my type R and just get some clips of your exhaust? Yeah, that's fine. That'd be cool. Let's do it. All right. Shit, you want to run it? Let's run it too. <laughs> what are you scared? Oh, there's yeah. the blow off valve. HKS. Damn, dude, I want to hear that. What a nice guy, man. I, how have I been so blessed to meet so many really, really genuinely nice people the time I've had my YouTube channel? I think if we do run it, I'll probably give him a very slight jump just so he pulls out ahead uh, when we gun it. That way I can hear his exhaust. Dude, that sounds so good. Give him a very slight jump. It's not that loud under full throttle, but it sounded so good. Sport mode engaged. Have fun, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm in fourth gear, he was probably in third. Also, I was in sport mode during those runs, but obviously you can tell power to weight ratio is a really important thing. So when you add a couple pounds to the car, obviously it's not gonna go as fast. <laughs> oh yeah. He definitely was in third gear because like two seconds into that last one, I heard his blow off valve, so. Now onto the downpipe. In order to get to the downpipe, you have to take off this piece right here and this metal plate also comes off. So there's a bunch of little screws. They're very, very easy to take off. Also, obviously you have to take the wipers off. Hope you guys can see that. So the O2 sensor is off now and I can take off the rest of these downpipe bolts. Once you get like one turn, these are hand tight. All right, what do we got going on down here? There. 
So guys, the potential buyer who's coming tomorrow, she's, she's coming, dude. It's happening. Hopefully I can get this sold. And then we're on to bigger and better things, as always. Look, what did I promise you guys? I told you guys I'd get a Type R for months at MSRP. What did I do? I got one. Now I'm telling you guys I'm gonna get something really, really cool with a V8 rear wheel drive, and that is exactly what's gonna happen. I invite you to get the heck off my car. Do you accept your invitation? Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Just like that. It looks brand new. Everyone told me this was gonna crack if I don't get a stiffer rear motor mount, but I do not see any cracks. I just put something on my Instagram saying if you want to buy my downpipe, come through. Whoever does buy it, I hope you do some sort of wrapping or, or like maybe ceramic coating on it so it reduces the hissing sound. Almost done, guys. It is a massacre out here. I have parts everywhere. But all I have to do now is put the muffler back on. The mid-pipe just went in. I'm very excited to potentially sell this tomorrow. Now let's hear what it sounds like basically with a muffler delete. I smell something. Maybe it's because the cats haven't been utilized in a while. I gotta hurry because I'm infringing on my neighbor's rights to park. Everything's back on, ladies and gentlemen. I just got the muffler on. That really only took 15 minutes, but I have Brandon here. Brandon has that type R over there. Twins. But, yeah. Twins. I was telling him he needs to come out to the next group drive, but I'm gonna give it a start up. Uh, I'm not gonna drive it because I still haven't flashed the old tune with just the intake. Um, right now the tune is still calibrated for the full race exhaust and the countless downpipe So that's a big difference in the air to fuel ratios and all that type of stuff. So I'm just gonna start up real quick Listen for any leaks <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of sad. All right. Yeah, you should be good So far so good? Anything's wrong, huh? Uh-uh it doesn't smell like there's any... It just smells dusty. Yeah, yeah exactly. It just smells like it hasn't been blown out, yeah. It was out on the patio for four months, oh, and then geez. a few weeks ago I put it in the closet up there, so... Yeah. It's probably yeah. spiders in there, I don't know. Oh jeez, everything's burning up. Yeah. So it's the next morning, everything went on smoothly. I have a few things to do before I go and possibly sell the car, hopefully sell the car today, but we will continue with that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on Tuesday.